Hi, I'm Louis Villaubon. I'm a Pilates instructor at the Marlene Meyerson JCC of Manhattan. Today, we're going to do a classical Pilates class with a couple of personal things thrown in there. Thank you for joining me. First, grab a mat or a towel, lie down on your back with your knees bent, feet flat on the mat, feet and knees hip width apart and parallel to each other. Arms are flat, shoulders are open, face your ceiling. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Let your bellies expand. Exhale, press the abdominals down into the spine. Again, inhale deeply. Raise the belly to the ceiling. Exhale, press the bellies down to the spine. Forming a concave shape, which in Pilates we call the scoop. Inhale and exhale. Scoop your abdominals on the exhale. Keep your tailbone heavy, making the imprint of your tailbone into the floor. Again, this time don't let the belly rise to the ceiling. Inhale, find some length in your abdominals. Exhale out of the mouth and scoop your abdominals. Let's continue. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Maintain your scoop and this type of breathing throughout the entire class. Inhale, raise the arms up to the ceiling. Fingers reaching to the ceiling, shoulders down into the floor. Exhale, press your arms forward and down as if you're pressing your abdominals down with your arms. Inhale, the arms come up to the sky. And exhale, press the arms forward and down. Add some resistance to the shoulders now. So it takes an entire inhale to raise your arms up to the sky an entire exhale to send your arms right back down. Shoulders are heavy, feel the resistance. Press your arms down, shoulders are open, neck is long. Inhale up. This time keep your arms here. Face your palms toward each other and simply reach for the ceiling of the sky. Shoulders are coming off of the ground, the neck is still long, the rib cage is corseted and I'm scooping my abdominals. Now on your exhale, press your shoulders down into the ground. Inhale, raise the arms. Exhale, lower the shoulders with your arms straight, fingers reaching for the sky. Inhale up and exhale down. One more, inhale up and exhale down. Wonderful, keep your shoulders heavy. Take your palms toward the front. Take the arms back 45 degrees and try to keep your spines pressing into the floor. Now take a deep inhale without moving your arms. Expand the rib cage side to side and exhale, press the rib cage in together, keep your tailbones heavy. Inhale, expand, and exhale, corset the rib cage. One more, inhale, expand, and exhale, corset the rib cage. Wonderful, clasp your hands behind the head, keep those elbows open to the sides. Take a deep inhale through the nose. As you exhale out of the mouth, Curl your head, neck, and shoulders up off of the floor, looking right at your belly button. Inhale, send the head, neck, and shoulders back down into the ground. Keep your fingers clasped and repeat. Exhale forward. Keep those elbows behind your head. Look at your belly button. Inhale, send it back. Good. Let's repeat this and add three pulses at the top. Exhale, peel forward. Pulse at three. Pulse at two. Pulse at one. Inhale, send it back, back, back back. Exhale, peel forward, pulse it three, exhaling two, exhaling one, inhale, send it back. Remember to scoop your abdominals and keep your elbows behind you. Exhale, peel forward and pulse it three, and pulse it two, and pulse it one, inhale, send it back. Keep going. Exhale, peel forward, activate your abdo abdominals. Exhale, pulse three, pulse two, hold it up on the one. Inhale, send your left arm forward. Exhale, send your right arm forward. Roll the shoulders back, curl up higher, looking at your belly button, scooping your abdominals, reach the fingers forward. Now release the head, neck, and shoulders down onto the floor. Arms reach up to the ceiling, long neck. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, peel the head, neck, and shoulders forward and off of the mat. Reach those fingers and arms, waist level. Shoulders roll back, inhale, send it back. Let's repeat this, exhale forward. Inhale back and exhale forward. 
Inhale back. Shoulders stay back and down. Exhale forward. And inhale back. Now let's add three pulses to this. Exhale forward and pulse at three. And pulse at two. And pulse at one. Inhale, send it all the way back. And exhale forward. Pulse at three. Pulse at two. Pulse at one. Inhale, send it all the way back. One more. Be prepared to stay up next time. Exhale, feel forward. Pulse three. Pulse two. Hold it up now. Keep your chin where it is. Inhale the arms up. Exhale the arms down. Scoop your abdominals. Inhale up. And exhale down. Last one. Inhale up. And exhale. Press the arms down into the mat. Release the head, neck, and shoulders. Look right and left and relieve any tension. We're still warming up. Tabletop the left knee. Tabletop the right knee. Good. Take a deep inhale. Exhale. Peel the head, neck, and shoulders up off the mat. Walk the fingers forward. Take the left toe forward and down to kiss the mat. Switch it with the right. Switch and switch. And curl up even higher. Scoop your abdominals. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. And switch and switch and switch. Now both knees together. Send both toes down toward the ground. Inhale down. Exhale, scoop your abdominals and bring your knees up. Inhale down. Exhale, scoop the abs. Keep curling forward. Inhale down and exhale. Release that neck and shoulders. Left foot down, right foot down. Look right, look left. Relieve any tension that you might feel in your neck. Now, if your neck is too tense, you could do any of the exercises where we roll the head forward. You could leave the head down. For example, this is called marching, which we just did. And you could keep your head down, just engage your abs. Or you could put a pillow under your head. Let's move on to the hundred the first official exercise of the classical Pilates mat routine. So, tabletop the left knee, tabletop the right knee. Inhale, the arms come up to the ceiling. Exhale, peel the head, neck, and shoulders up off the mat, just to your shoulder blades. Stretch your legs up 45 degrees, or you can keep them slightly bent. Inhale, and exhale for five, as you pump the arms. Here we go. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. It's in and out. And in and out. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three. Breathe into the nose. In and out. Scoop your belly in. In, two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, last set. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Hug your knees into the chest. Relax the head, neck, and shoulders. Look right, look left. Congratulations. You've done the first official exercise. Place your left foot down, right foot down. Stretch the left leg forward. Stretch the right leg forward. Flex your feet and make sure that your knees, ankles, and thighs are squeezing together. So, Looking up at the ceiling, this next exercise is called the roll-up. Inhale, the arms come up to the ceiling. Exhale, peel the head, neck, and shoulders forward off the ground. Try to do this very smoothly. Drop your head between the windows of the arms. The arms stay parallel to the ground. Shoulders are rolling back. They're not invited to this party. Middle of the abdominals go back to the back wall. Inhale, halfway back. Shoulders keep rolling back. One vertebra at a time kisses the floor. Control, engage your abdominals. Arms float up to the ceiling. Inhale, take the chest. Exhale, peel forward. Keep flexing those feet. Find a C curve in your spine. Drop the head between the windows of your arms. Inhale, halfway back. Exhale, the rest of the way back. Let's do three more. Inhale, take the chest. Exhale, peel forward. Inhale, halfway back. Exhale, the rest of the way back. Two more. Inhale, take the chest. If you have trouble getting up, you could use your digging, digging your heels into the floor, bend your knees, and you could climb up until you are able to achieve the shape on your own. Same thing on the way down. If it's hard to go down, climb down your thighs. Let's do one more. Inhale, take the chest. Exhale, peel forward. Now, let's add an exercise to this. Go three quarters of the way back, curving your spine in a C curve. Inhale, the arms come up. Exhale, squeeze the belly in as the arms circle around and go forward. Inhale up, 
Exhale, squeeze. Let's do two more. Exhale. Inhale up. And exhale, squeeze. Control the spine down, down, down. Beautiful. Relax your arms. Feet are flat on the floor. Shake your knees out. Just loosen up any tension in your hamstrings, in your quads, in your hip flexors. All right, let's continue. Bend the left knee to the chest. Good. Stretch the left leg forward, holding behind the left thigh. And simply point the foot and flex the foot. And point the foot and flex the foot. Point the foot and flex the foot. Hold here. Inhale, bend the knee to the chest, heel into the glute. Exhale, stretch the leg up another six inches taller. Keep the tailbone heavy here. Point and flex and point and flex. Bend the knee to the chest. Exhale, extend the leg even higher and point and flex and point. Keep it flexed now and hold. Stretch that right leg forward. Flex both feet, keeping both knees straight. Point both feet and flex both feet and point both feet and flex both feet. Bend the knee to the chest. Kick your heel to the glute a couple times. Exhale, stretch the heel just as high as you can. Good. Now cross the left heel over the right hip bone a couple of inches, just right over the right hip bone, using your fingers clasped behind your left thigh. Good, bring it right back over the left hip bone. Now, open the leg up, guiding it with the left hand on the inside of the left knee. Open it directly to the side. Keep your rib cage corseted and your abdominal scooped. Point the foot and flex the left foot. Now, send that leg down to meet the other leg. Put both palms on the floor. Scoop your abdominals and let's do some circles. Down around, exhale up, putting the brakes on. Down around, exhale up. Down around, exhale up. Down around, let's do uh, the reverse. Down around and up, down around and up, down around and up, down around and up. Good, hug your knee to the chest, kick your heel to the glutes to loosen up your hip flexor. Place that left foot flat on the mat, hug the right knee to the chest and we'll do the same thing on the other side. Good, with a very flexed foot, stretch the leg about 45 degrees, clasping your hands behind the right thigh and point the foot and flex the foot and point the foot and flex the foot keep the foot flexed inhale bend the knee into the chest heel into the glute exhale extend the leg a little bit higher maybe six inches higher make the back of your neck tall point the foot and flex the foot and point the foot and flex the foot good bend the knee into the chest heel into the glute as you inhale exhale as you stretch the leg up just a little bit higher if you can with your tailbone heavy and point the foot and flex the foot shoulders are open and down point the foot back of the neck is long flex the foot good hold here stretch that left leg forward and flex both feet and point both feet and flex both feet and point both feet and flex both feet and keep them both flexed Good. Inhale, bend the knee to the chest. Kick the heel to the glutes a little bit. Exhale, extend the leg up again. Point the foot and flex the foot. Now, cross the right heel over the left hip bone and just stretch, 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 keeping the tailbone heavy. Breathe. Bring that leg right back over your right hip bone. And now guiding you with the inside of your right hand, open that left, the right leg over to the right, placing your left hand on your left hip bone, making sure it stays down. Rib cage is corseted, abdominals scooped, back of the neck is long. And breathe, inhale, exhale, point the foot, flex the foot, keeping the foot flexed, send that leg down, 
toward the right leg. Place both arms and hands flat on the mat, and let's do some circles. It's down around, exhale up, down around and up. Inhale, exhale, put the brakes on with your abs. Inhale, exhale, let's reverse it. Down around and up, down around and up, down around and up. Last one, keep those hips anchored, beautiful. Bend the knee to the chest, kick your heels into the glute. Beautiful, place that foot down, stretch the leg. Let's do another roll up. Flex the feet, zip the knees, ankles and thighs together. Inhale, the arms come up to the sky. Exhale, peel forward. Take your time, no needs for any jerky motions. Beautiful. Now we'll transition to rolling like a ball. So bend your knees, heels are close to the glutes, arms around the outsides of the knees, all 10 fingers face each other on your ankles. Flex the feet, heels together, toes apart. Knees are open as wide as your shoulders. Now, make a C curve with the spine, trying to bring the forehead between the knees. Take a deep inhale, roll back to the shoulder blades. Exhale, come right back up and find your balance without putting your feet down. Inhale back, exhale forward. Put the brakes on with your abs. Scoop your abdominals, shoulders down. Inhale back and exhale up. Let's do three more. Inhale back, exhale forward. Looking at your belly button the whole time. Inhale back, exhale forward. Two more. Inhale back, exhale forward. Last one, inhale back, exhale forward. Find your balance here. Now, place your left hand on the right kneecap while still balanced. Stretch the left leg forward 45 degrees, point both feet, control the spine down, down, down to the tips of the shoulder blades. Try to get your nose or forehead to the knee. Switch arms and legs. It's switch and switch and switch, and switch, and switch, and switch, and switch. Again, breathe it. Inhale for two, and exhale for two. Curl up higher. Inhale for two, and exhale for two. It's inhale for two, and exhale for two. Last set, inhale for two, and exhale for two. Hug your knees into the chest, release the head, neck, and shoulders, look right, look left, relieve any tension. We sneakily transition from rolling like a ball into the first of the five in the abdominal series. That was called single leg stretch. Let's do double leg stretch. Both hands are on top of your knees, which you're hugging into the chest. Exhale, peel the head, neck, and shoulders up off of your mats. Inhale, send the arms and legs away from each other on a 45 degree angle, reaching with the fingers and toes. Exhale, circle around with the arms and hug your knees, the top of your knees into your chest. Inhale out, exhale, come in. Scoop those abdominals, inhale out, exhale in. Curl up higher, inhale out, exhale, circle in. Inhale out, exhale, circle in. Let's do two more, inhale out, exhale, circle in. Inhale out, exhale, circle in. Hug, relax the head, neck and shoulders, look right, Look left, tick tock the knees right and left as well to give your lower spine a nice little stretch. Good. Let's go for the third in the abdominal series. These are called scissors. Stretch the legs up to the ceiling or sky. Stretch the arms up to the sky. Good. Now peel the head, neck, and shoulders up off the ground. Hold on to the left ankle with a straight leg if you can. Send the right leg forward 45 degrees, curl up a little bit higher off your abs, squeeze your abdominals and scoop, looking at the belly button. Give that left leg a double, pull, pull, and switch. Pull, pull, switch. Pull, pull, switch. Pull, pull, switch. Come up off of your vertebra and pull, pull, switch. This could be your breathing. Exhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, exhale, inhale. And three, three, and three, three, and two, two, and two, two, and one, one, and one, one. Hug and relax. Release the head, neck, and shoulders. Look right and left. 
This time, keep your hands on your knees, kick your heels into the glutes like you're having a little tantrum. This also loosens up the hip flexors and the hamstrings. Let's continue. Place the feet flat on the ground. Now, make a diamond shape with your hands like this. Lift your tailbone off the ground and put your thumbs just above the tailbone. Let your fingers spread down towards your tailbone, below your tailbone. Now, bend the left knee to the chest, right knee to the chest. Feel the head, neck, and shoulders up off of the ground. Pop the elbows off the ground. Flex your feet, stretch your legs up to the ceiling, 90 degrees. Inhale as you lower the legs, three. Inhale, two. Inhale, one. Exhale, raise in one smooth count. Inhale, three, curl up higher. Two, look at your belly button, one. Exhale, raise. Inhale, three. Inhale, two. Inhale, one. Exhale, raise. Let's reverse the breathing. Inhale, one. Exhale, raise, three, two, one. It's reversing the counting. The breathing stays the same. Inhale, down. Exhale, raise, three, two, one. Inhale, down. Exhale, raise, three, curl up higher, two, one. Lower the legs, 45 degrees. Six pulses with the exhale, small. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Hug your knees into the chest. Relax the head, neck, and shoulders. Look right and look left. All right, fifth and final, the abdominal series. Place the feet flat on the ground. Good. Zip the knees, ankles, and thighs together. Inhale, the arms come up to the ceiling. Good. Clasp your hands behind the head. Keep those elbows open. Exhale, peel forward, looking at your belly button. Pulse this for five. Squeeze the knees together. Four, three, two, and one. Inhale, send it back, 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 back. Exhale, peel forward. Pulse it. Five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Inhale, send it back, 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 back. Exhale, peel forward. Pulse five. Elbows behind your head. Four, three, two. Hold it up on the one. Good. Send your upper body all the way to the left. Left elbow on the ground, right elbow to the sky. And switch. Right elbow down, left elbow up. Hips are stable. Let's switch. 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 Exhale. Exhale. Switch. Switch. Exhale. Exhale. Keep twisting the upper body as you tabletop the left knee. Good. Keep twisting the upper body as you tabletop the right knee. Both knees are squeezed together. Feet are together. Everybody go to the left and hold there. Bend the left knee to the chest. Stretch the right leg forward. Switch upper body, lower body. These are bicycles, crisscross in Pilates terms. Switch. Switch. Keep those elbows open. Right elbow is reaching toward the sky. Left elbow reaching toward the sky. Switch. Switch. Look side to side. Good. Keep breathing. Now, keep twisting the upper body and tabletop the legs in stillness. Switch. 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 It's twist. It's twist. Now, keep twisting the upper body. Place the left foot down. Keep twisting the upper body. Place the right foot down. Squeeze the knees together. Squeeze the feet together. Good. Let's go five in the center. Five. Look at the belly button. Four, three, two, and one. Curl up higher three times. Squeeze the knees. Three. Exhale two. Exhale one. Collapse and relax. Good job. Shake your knees out. Good. Rock yourselves up to seated position now. Sit in the middle of your mat. Stretch the legs out nice and long. Open the legs to V position as wide as your mats. Flex the feet so the toes are facing the ceiling. Arms are in front of you. Take a deep inhale. Grow the spine taller. This is called spine stretch forward. Exhale, chin comes to chest. Now you're curving your midsection over an imaginary bar and you're gliding your arms forward on top of an imaginary desk. The middle of the spine reaches back toward the back wall. Shoulders are not invited. Inhale, strike this one straight up. It's as if you're sitting against a, an imaginary brick wall. Exhale, peel forward, glide your arms across an imaginary desk. The middle of the spine reaches the back wall with pressure. Use that pressure to stack the spine up. Let's talk about the breathing. Exhale, peel forward. Inhale, stack it up. 
Spine is straight, head is the last to come up. Head is the first to go down on the exhale. Inhale, stack it up. And exhale forward. Inhale, stack it up. Good. Open the arms to the sides. Not all the way to the sides, a little bit in front of you. Now, let's access your lats. That's the part under your armpits. Exhale, pulse down. Really access your lats. Two and three. Palms go up to the, to the sky. Circle the shoulders back. Squeeze the shoulder blades together for three, for two, for one. Sitting nice and tall. Rib cage in. Reverse the circle for three, for two, for one. Good. Palms are down. Twist all the way to the left. Stretch through your heels. Palms are down. Back shoulder is down. Head straight up and down. Go all the way to the right. Same thing. This next exercise is called the saw. Twist to the left. Exhale, dive forward. Cut off your pinky toe with your pinky finger. Sit up tall on the inhale. Exhale, center. This is the breathing. Inhale, twist. Exhale, down. Inhale, sit tall. Looking center. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, now let's do it in twos. Exhale, down, inhale, look center. Exhale, down, inhale, look center. Exhale, down, inhale, look center. Last one, exhale, down, inhale, look center. Palms are up, roll the shoulders back, scraping the shoulder blades for three. Sitting taller for two, abdominals in. For one, straight spines, reverse the circle for three. For two, for one, palms are down, access your lats, three, Two, grow tall like a car jack. One, grow the spine tall, 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 tall. Relax, roll the shoulders back, roll the shoulders forward. Wonderful, good. Let's flip over onto our abdominals. Hand over hand, forehead on the hands. Good. Now, I want to encourage you to scoop your abdominals in and up away from the floor against gravity for the first time in class today. Your legs are hip width apart here and relaxed. Keeping your hands glued to the forehead, inhale and lift the head, hands and heart off the mat. It looks like this. Inhale and lift. My feet are relaxing. I'm trying to lift my belly in and up off of the floor. Exhale forward. Inhale up and exhale lower. And inhale up and exhale down. Variation. Inhale, lift. Send both arms forward like supermen and women. Lift the legs up off the mat. Look forward a little bit. And now swim the arms up and down in opposition. Lift the belly off, off the ground if you can. Scooping your abdominals. Now there's a shark behind you, go faster. Swim, 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 swim. swim. Hold everything tall. Hands to the forehead and exhale, lower everything down. Wonderful. Prop yourselves up onto your elbows, which are right under your shoulders. Make two fists with the hands. The ring fingers meet because the wrists are bent so much and press that against the ground. Now notice how I'm pressing my shoulders down, puffing my chest forward a little bit. And the back of my neck is a straight ski slope, which extends from the spine. Now. Lift your bellies up and over an imaginary tennis ball. Double kick your left heel into your glute. Kick, kick, and right, right. Flex feet, kick, kick, and right, right, and left, left. Keep alternating and breathing. Now lift your belly button over an imaginary tennis ball on the floor. Make it even, one more time each side, left, left and right, right. Relax everything down. Go back to a child's pose with your knees together. Take a deep inhale, exhale, relax. Another one, deep inhale, exhale, relax. Wonderful. Let's walk ourselves right back out onto our abdominals. This time, open up the hands shoulder width, fingers go in front of the shoulders a little bit, 
and let your foreheads relax down on the mat. The neck is long. This time you're going to press your hands down into the floor and lift your upper body into a sphinx position. Inhale and lift. Use your abdominals and exhale and lower. And inhale and lift. Press the elbows into the body, shoulders are down, exhale lower. Now let's go a little higher. Inhale and lift, let's go up to about 50%. My elbows come off the ground. Belly button is in, scooped into the spine. Exhale and lower. Inhale and lift, 50% again, and exhale and lower. Now let's straighten the arms, 95%. Inhale and lift, the elbows are almost straight. Now let's do four push-ups, halfway down all the way up. Inhale down, exhale up. Do not let the elbows go to the sides. Inhale down and exhale up. Spread your fingers down and exhale up. Last one, inhale down, exhale all the way up. Press the shoulders down, long neck. Look to the left, half circles down and around to the right. Look center, look to the right. Half circle down and around to the left and look center. Now, shoulders continue to press down as you descend, elbows hug the rib cage, lift the belly up, 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 up so that your belly and forehead touch the mat at the same exact time. Collapse and relax. Open the knees a little bit. That was called swan dive prep. Go back to a child's pose, this time with your sternums falling between your knees. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, release any tension in your lower spine. <sighs> Option, take your right arm back, take your left arm back, and take a deep inhale. Exhale. <sighs> Let's do one more. Inhale, and exhale. <sighs> Good. Let's walk right back out onto our abdominals. Roll over to the left side of your body and prop your head into your left arm. Now, make one line at the back edge of your mat. Left elbow is in the corner of the mat. Legs are down straight and in line with the back edge of the mat. Now, even though we're going to do sideline kick series, don't forget, it's a Pilates class, so we're scooping our abdominals. Flex your feet. Inhale, lift the abdominals in and up the spine as you lift both legs up off the floor. Circle the top leg for three in any direction. Two, stabilize your body leg, your bottom leg. One, your body leg. And reverse it for three. Bellies are in. For two, rib cage corseted. One, squeeze the heels together. Swing both legs forward off of your mat and lower both legs. Take a moment to make sure that the tailbone is grazing against the back leg. One hip is stacked right over the bottom hip and your feet are coming right off the mat for a perfect 45 degree angle. You can prop your right hand into the mat in front of your sternum. Now lift the top leg, which is your right leg, hip height, scoop your abdominals and double kick your toe towards your face. Swing, swing with a flex foot. Now point the foot and swing it once behind you without moving your body forward. Keep the upper body stable. It looks like this. Flex, flex, and point behind you. Double kick. Flex, flex, and point behind you. It doesn't matter how high you get the leg. It's all about the double kick, which encourages you to engage the abdominals each time. Flex, flex, and point behind you. Now keep it flex and hovered over the bottom leg. Resist as you flex and lift, point and lower. Shoulders stay down, flex and lift, point and lower. Flex and lift, point and lower. Keep the leg parallel to the other leg, point and lower. Reverse it, point to lift, flex and lower. Point to lift, flex and lower. Outer thigh, inner thigh, abduction, adduction. Now, let's make a figure eight with the top leg. What does that mean? <laughs> you can make a little infinity symbol with the heel and toes, or you can go up to a high figure eight. 
Let's reverse it. Lead with the heel, perhaps this time. Figure eight. You could also add supination and pronation, which is a rotation of the leg from the hip socket inward and outward. Let's parallel the legs. Three resistive pulses, pulse the abdominals three, pulse it two on the exhale, pulse it one. You may relax one leg over the other. You may punch your glute and thigh area, you may slap, you may massage, or you may stab with your fingers like that. Good. Tabletop the legs now as if you're sitting in a sideways chair. Again, hand on the floor in front of your sternum. Flex both feet. This is called butt blaster. Lift your top leg parallel to the floor. Stretch the leg perpendicular to your body, tracing the bottom knee. On the exhale, three small pulses with the legs toward the ceiling. Pulse three, pulse two, pulse one. Shoulders down, tall neck. Bend the knee with resistance. Really squeeze with your right glute. Lift the entire leg and lower the leg, resisting throughout. We're gonna add a direction each time. Inhale, lift. With a flex foot, stretch straight in front of you. Don't let that change the shape of your spine. The spine is still straight. Pulse it up three, pulse it up two, pulse it up one. Back to center. Down and center, down and center, down and center. Bend with resistance, lift it and lower it. Inhale, lift, exhale, stretch. Pulse it up three, pulse it up two. Abdominals are working, pulse it up one. Down to the ground and center, ground and center ground and center, shoulders down toward the face and back to center, toward the face, back to center, toward the face, back to center, bend with resistance, lift with resistance, lower with resistance, squeezing the glute the whole time. Inhale and lift, exhale, stretch. Pulse it up, three, pulse it up, two, pulse it up, one. Abdominals are working, down and center, down and center, down and center, toward the face and center, face and center, face and center, over the foot, over the knee, over the bottom foot, over the bottom knee, over the foot, over the knee. Stretch the heel away from you. Stretch the hip back behind you. Bend the knee, lift and lower. Slap it, punch it, massage it, and stab it. Hopefully you felt that in your glute. Let's end with bicycles as the third and final in the sideline kick series. So stretch your legs on a 45 degree angle. Lift the top leg with a flex foot. Now point the top foot, bend the knee into the chest. Stretch that leg up as high as you can with a straight knee. Swing the leg behind you. Now try not to move your upper body, but get that leg as far behind you as you can before you bend the heel into the glute and now bend the knee into the chest. These are as if you're pedaling a bicycle. Again, it doesn't matter how high you go with the leg. I can bring the leg just to waist level or lower. What's most important is that my upper body, my spine stay perfectly straight and that it's not rocking back and forth. Now I'm gonna kick my heel to the glute and reverse, back pedal. Stretch the leg behind you straight Swing it forward and reversing, bending the knee into the chest. Swing it back behind you. Send it forward, up toward your face, bend the knee into the chest and send it back. Try not to move the upper body. Another option is to put the other hand behind the head so the arm is just out of the way. Remember to kick behind you, not to trace the lower leg and bend the knee and three resistive pulses with flex feet. Pulse three, pulse two, pulse one. You may slap it, you may punch it, you may massage it, you may stab it. All right, let's do the same thing on the other side, perhaps moving a little bit faster now that you're familiar with the exercises. So you're lying down on the right side of your body now, propping your head into your hand, making sure that right elbow is in the corner of your mat. The body is in one line with flex feet. Hand is propping up against your sternum. Inhale, lift the belly in and up the spine as you lift both legs up. Circle the top leg. Four, three, four, two. Try not to move the upper body. Four, one. Reverse the circle for three, four, two, 
for one. Good, squeeze both heels together, swing them both forward. Lower the bottom one this time, double kick your face. Kick, kick, and point behind you. Kick, kick, and point behind you. And kick, kick, and point behind you. Kick, kick, and point behind you. Keep the foot flexed and hovered over the bottom leg. Flex and lift, and point and lower. Flex and lift, keep that leg parallel, point and lower. Flex and lift, and point and lower. Flex and lift, and point and lower. Keep the foot flexed, and reverse it actually. Point to lift, and flex and lower. Point to lift, and flex and lower. Point to lift, and flex and lower. Point to lift, and now figure eight. You may add supination and pronation. Leading with the toes in one direction. And now let's reverse it. Lead with the heel to reverse it. Try to keep your upper body stable. Abdominals are still working. Your neck is nice and long. One more. And flex your feet, three resisted pulses, three and two and one. Slap it. Punch it, massage it, and stab it. Tabletop your legs here. Good. Now, flex your feet, lift the top leg, stretch the leg forward. Three little pulses toward the sky. For three, exhale two, exhale one. Squeeze with the left glute, bend the knee with resistance, lift and lower. Inhale, raise. Exhale, stretch. Pulse it up three, pulse it up two, pulse it up one. Bend, lift, and lower. And inhale, raise. And exhale, stretch. Pulse it up three, pulse it up two, pulse it up one. Now down to the ground and center, ground and center, ground and center. We're adding a direction each time. Good, inhale, lift, exhale, stretch. Pulse it up three, pulse it up two, pulse it up one. Now down to the ground and center, ground and center, ground and center, toward the face and center. Face and center, face and center, over the foot, over the knee, over the foot, over the knee, over the foot, over the knee, and stretch that leg forward. Bring the right hip back, bend with resistance, lift with resistance, lower with resistance. You may slap, you may punch, you may massage. Now stretch the legs on a 45 degree angle. Good, bicycles. Lift the top leg, point the right foot, bend the knee into the chest, the left foot rather, point, bend the knee into the chest, stretch the leg up, swing it behind you with a straight leg without moving the upper body forward or back too much, bend the knee into the, into the heel, into the glute, now bend the knee into the chest, and stretch, and swing, bend the heel into the glute, bend the knee into the chest, two more, stretch, swing it back, heel into the glute, knee into the chest, and stretch, send it back, back, back. Good, now let's reverse, send it back and bring it knee into the chest. That's one, three more. And this is two, really control the movement and really scoop your abdominals as much as you can. Last one, all right. One leg over the other, slap it, punch it, massage it and stab it. Good job. Now, let us stretch out those glutes. Lie down on your back, cross the right ankle over your left knee, draw that left thigh to your chest, the right hand could go between the legs, and on the inhale, draw that thigh closer to you, and you'll feel a stretch on your right glute. Inhale, release a little bit. Exhale, pull it closer to you. Wonderful, let's reverse it. Cross the left ankle over the right knee. Draw that right thigh in toward your chest and you'll feel a stretch in your left glute. Take a deep inhale. And on the exhale, stretch the knee a little closer to you, that thigh a little closer to you. Inhale, release, try to keep the tailbone heavy to the ground. Exhale, bring it in, 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 in. Place both feet flat on the ground. Good. This concludes three quarters of a Pilates class in half an hour. I'll be back another time 
to finish the rest of the Pilates class. Thank you so much. Have a healthy and safe day. This is Louis Villalban for the Marlene Meyerson JCC of Manhattan.